McDavid got 46% of his points on the power play last year. Drysaddle got 48%. Ain't nobody downgrading them in their rankings. I don't know why we have to punish Nuge for being a power play demon. So, and the other thing to me, at 34th overall, I'm already pricing that in. I'm not ranking him as a 100-point player. I'm ranking him as an 85 or 90-point player. I think he could regress a fair amount and still be very valuable on that unbelievable power play. 34th overall is my pick. I stand by it. But let's go the other way now. Pessimist, that's you in this case, Nick. 74th overall in that previous edition of your rankings. Yeah, I think he has to be a regression candidate. Like, I understand the points you're making, but last year, 37 goals, 104 points, the puck luck, everything went his way. Everything he touched pretty much on the power play, got to McDavid, got to dry settle, got to one of the big boys and got him a point. I, I just, I would probably slot him around 75 points, maybe 80 points back to career norms. I, I just think it has to go back the other way, more so because of what we learned so far in Ryan Nugent Hopkins' career. Like, this was a massive, massive jump in production that leads me to believe that I think he's going to regress back to norms, and that's going to be around, you know, a top 75, top 100 fantasy player. I'm, I hope I'm wrong. Like, it's an incredible story, and I think if you keep him, uh, you're feeling good in, in keeper leagues, but there's always that doubt, I think, in, uh, in managers' minds right now. Okay, and voice of reason, once again, Brock is the Zen guy here. 61st overall from Ryan Nugent Hopkins. What are your thoughts, Brock? Yeah, I probably lean a little bit more towards Nick uh, than you on this one, Matt. There's just so many red flags. His 18.4 shooting percentage was by far the highest of his career. Uh, and this one really stands out. His 15.9 on a shooting percentage was the highest ever recorded, according to natural stature uh, of players with at least 500 minutes played. Uh, so that's alarming. You know, the secondary assists were, were a bit of an issue as well. Led the uh, NHL in secondary assists. Also had the highest uh, rate of secondary assists of any guy with, with at least 40 helpers. So uh, I do think it's perfectly reasonable to expect a strong year uh, from Ryan Nugent Hopkins, like even ranking him in the 60s or 70s. Uh, 